Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Spirit Fair. Joining me is J.K. Lantern. Penny's Grand Slam breakfast. Give me them bacon and eggs and the pancakes. And Star Princess HLC. Go for some pancakes right now. So while we wait on things to cook here... I do believe it's time to finally get us the last major ship upgrade. Yeah. Unless I'm completely mistaken. Nope, we can't get it. We need one more spirit flower and some bottled ectoplasm. Okay. We could get a bigger boat, but we don't need one yet. Okay. And these will just make the boat go faster when we do get them. But yeah, the Mist Cleaner 1000. We need bottled ectoplasm for it. And another spirit flower. Sadly. You probably just want food. in Edgeboro Lane. Edgeboro, that's in Scotland, right? There's Overbrook. There's the Grey Mist Peaks beyond the fog wall. The problem is it doesn't tell you exactly where this place is. It's in hell, Vegeta! For us, it might as well be. Ah, the home for infamous losers! They're probably celebrating Frieza Day right now. There's Edgeboro <laughs> Lane. We can at least reach that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Something tells me we're gonna have to go back and forth between Edgeboro Lane and another place a few times. Fun. To complete this one quest. Because of the way the, uh... Because of the way the, um... Beverly was, um, talking about completing it. To where we needed to do things to haggle a price down. Hey, Patches. All these people want food for me. What do I look like? McDonald's. McDonald's has really changed mascots then. <laughs> I mean, they've shown it a few times, haven't they? Oh, oh god, um... So, I was watching MST3K a week or two ago, and I should go back to watching some of those. But anyway, um, one of the episodes I watched was Mac and Me. Uh. And, um... <laughs> My god, the product placement in that. But there was an entire scene in that movie that was McDonald's birthday party. Bacon and eggs. See, Mom. the Teddy's Grand Slam breakfast. Also, god damn it. <laughs> okay, what is pork and fat gonna be? Pork and, and fat sun in the form of sunflower oil here. Oh god, it's gonna- whatever it is, it's gonna be worse than I initially- My original guess was it was going to come out just as bacon. Now I'm terrified as to what it could be. <laughs> what? Pork tonkatsu. You're gonna need a few more ingredients, also you probably couldn't pull that off in the oven. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> and go back to Nordweiler and find some sheet music. Fetch quest. Hulls versus Simons. Here we go! Pauls versus Simons. Yep. Pauls versus Simons. Now, would you prefer Simons versus Garfunkels? Uh, uh, I mean, Pauls versus Simons is kind of half of that joke right there. Or Earth versus Wind versus Fire. Or John versus George versus Paul versus Ringo. I mean, that's kind of where they wound up by the end of things. Oh, look, we mm. found a recipe for muesli. Oh, okay. At least it wasn't a recipe for anything you else. <laughs> well, that would be just if you stick your nose in an oven. You gotta find a blueprint around here somewhere. And May Borowski wishes she could do that. Yeah. Oh look, we found a bovine license. 
We cows. can have cows. And moo juice. Three eggies. <laughs> we already got the eggies. <laughs> See my name. <laughs> but no floof soda and floof powder. Come on, you're supposed to grab onto that. I don't wanna. A signed vintage poster. Yep. See, we, I'd already bought the sheet music at some point. Here comes the sun, little darling. Here comes the sun. I say, it's all red. George is my favorite beetle. Is that like how every clarinet solo is just how deep is your love? That was the every bassoon solo. Oh, okay. There we go. Buy a few more sugar cane seeds. And one more bovine license. Check on our pork nightmare. Still going. Yep, still going. Nothing beats the energizer. They keep going and going. Punt the chicken. Punt Don't the chicken. Don't want to punt the chicken. Punt the chicken. But it has to lead us to a magical land in the sky where we have to fight a Durgan. That was a wyvern. Bro. So for a chicken, you moved awfully fast down here. Chickens are fast. I I've seen Rocky. <clears throat> Also, I wonder how she'd feel if she sees the giant chickens we have already. Yeah, we don't have any we don't have any acetates for that. And now we have some. Oh god, we found his porn. We found his lecture notes. So yeah, remember how we were saying this was math now? It's math lecture time now. Ka! God damn it, game. Time for me to fall asleep. Trying to figure out what this equation is trying to uh, demonstrate. Like we got a pair of coordinates there that are equal to um, two other x coordinate values added together divided by two, and two other y coordinate values added together and divided by two. I'm trying to think of what the application for this would be because it's been a very long time since I would have needed any sort of this version of math. See, I don't think about this version of math anymore because I don't have to. I mean, neither, neither do I. I'm... 
my degrees in nutrition, for Christ's sakes. See, I work with math and I don't have to deal with this. Like, I'm trying to figure out if this is actually, like, genuinely some, like, a specific principle I had to learn at some point, or if they were just, like, let's make something that looks mathy! Mm. Pork plus fat gets you. Are you ready for it? Uh, as ready as like I'm a... going to be. Is, is the math over? Schnitzel! Oh, schnitzel. No! Fuck you! <laughs> schnitzel's delicious! <laughs> That's... You don't bake schnitzel in the oven! I want schnitzel. I, I will say when when you're getting the reindeer names wrong at Christmas, one of one of my favorite ones to use is schnitzel. Of course, I also usually try to stick like John, Paul, George, and Ringo in there somewhere. I mean, there were vultures in the Jungle Book, so maybe they were reindeer in another life too. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure, like, the voices were more boy based on the stones. Granted, it's been a long time since I've seen the Jungle Book, so I don't remember. My Cappy's in VHS! Same. Ooh, sweet tea! Yep. Wait, how did you do that? Tea leaves and sugar. In the oven. <laughs> in the oven, yeah. <sighs> Going to pet my urban mech and... Okay, we got wheat flour. This that is going is... to be garlic bread. Yeah. Yes, this is going to be garlic bread. And I want garlic bread. You know how hard it is to get the consistency of having a nice crust, but having enough butter on it that's not all runny? We did beef and fat before, didn't we? Did we? Did we? Maybe not. We'll do it again. Like, it sounds like something we would have done, but I genuinely don't remember if we've done that or not. Mm. I mean, I've got the extra beef. Hi, Patches. Ooh, garlic bread. I'm just going to check here and see if we've already got that. I don't have any on me, so maybe we haven't done it. Oh. What's your thought, Patches? So Let's beef and fat. Be beef and fat. Um, there's a couple of... You don't see fried beef as often as some other things, but... You get chicken parm! Wait, what? <laughs> if we got chicken parm from beef and fat, I would be going to Surat's house right now and yeeting his computer Right out the window. <laughs> I mean, I do need to buy a new computer regardless pretty soon. This one is over seven years old at this point. Mm. Still running Windows 7. My, mine recently upgraded to Windows 11. Thanks. 
I hate it. Yeah. You, you could roll it back. To, to be fair, Windows 11 works a lot like Windows 10, except a little chunkier. We are making masa because we need to make tortillas later. I have friends from Mexico and they they talk about like how much of like a bonding experience it was um making like when they were kids making tortillas from scratch with uh with mama y abuela. Uh -huh. And he wants us to make a heart. Uh -huh. I see he's not asking us to make a kiln. Neoclassical Nordic fireplace. I'm a Viking, and I've come to take your land. Yes, I have come to take your land and rob your village. Somehow we ended up in God of War Ragnarok. Boy! <laughs> I was surprised that didn't win Game of the Year. Not because I've played it, I haven't. But because it won, like, every other award at the Game Awards. What did win Game of the Year? Uh, Elden Ring. That's why. Yep. It, like... Like, Ragnarok won, like, every award except for Game of the Year. And it was up against Elden Ring in, like, every single one of those categories. So it's like, oh, it won everything but Game of the Year because Elden Ring got that. Um, mm -hmm. I, I was sad that Tunic didn't get, like, Indie Game of the Year. Uh, Stray wound up winning that. Yeah, I'm not surprised See, I on that Stray one. Stray was an Indie game. With the amount of coverage it got, I completely forgot. Mm. I still think Tunic's probably better. <laughs> I feel like Stray had a better press kit. Probably. I mean, the, it's kind of hard to sell anything beyond, you get to play as a cat! Yeah, this is true. But... I think while we were waiting on Gustav to do his things, and I am waiting on other passengers to do their things, it is time to uh, call the video. When we come back, I will have made sure I remember how to get the goddamn bottleneck to Plasm, because we need that to progress so we can obviously do it fairly soon. But anyway... That's for future us. So until then, take care, everyone. Later. Bye, Ian.